In today's video, I'm going to show you guys my pipe fitting tool chest that I started working on probably five years ago, but I really never got to finish it. But finally, over the past couple months, I've been working on it and I can finally say that it is all done. So once you open up Bluebeam and then you import your tool chest, I'm going to leave a link somewhere down here in the description where you can send me an email, you can send me a message, and I'll get you guys a link to download this pipe fitting tool chest. There might be a small fee once you go to my platform to download it, but it's nothing more than a cup of coffee. So once you download the tool chest and then you import into your Bluebeam tool chest, then you have all these different 45s, 90s that you can use in an isometric template and then different reducers. And I even added down here a floor drain. So this is the example that I created. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna create it from scratch because it took me probably 20, 30 minutes to create it. Um, just to make sure that I added all the different dimensions everything lined up correctly and it, and it looked nice for this example. All right, one of the ways that I suggest you guys using these different fittings is you start selecting them and then dropping them in here. I dropped probably three right now and I'm just gonna give you a quick example is once you have them dropped and then aligned to kind of how you think you, you want them to be, you just go up here, use a line and then that's how you start connecting your different fittings. So this line, Probably need to adjust this one over just a little bit. Now, full transparency, right? These these are not gonna be quite perfect, but it'll give you a better example than just, and will make you look a little bit more professional than just uh, doing it by hand. This should get you pretty good to get what you need and then be able to start building off of this. And then the last thing that I created now, this is something that you can just go here to uh, this gear and then create a legend and then I just did a regular PVC tool chest and then once you create that it'll kind of give you a list of uh, bill of materials of what you need and then again you'll be good pretty uh, pretty well pretty well said to start building off of this to import this tool chest once you have it downloaded to your desktop what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up here to tool chest manage tool chest then you're gonna go to import you're going to go to the location where you have it saved. You're going to select this .btx file. You're going to click open. And then now right now it's telling me that, that it's going to overwrite it. I'm just going to say no. But since it'll be the first time that you're importing it in there, then there it is. PVC tool chest is what it's called. You're going to click OK. I'm just going to click X because I already have it loaded in here. But once you click OK, then you'll have it here in your options of your PVC tool chest. And I'm gonna leave a link somewhere here, either up here or down here on the screen to my other YouTube video that is gonna show you guys how to, where to go and download these templates and also how to import them and then save them on your Bluebeam software. I'll leave my information somewhere down here in the description. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to shoot me a message. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.